Hey everyone, welcome back to Epic Tomorrows. It is now my great pleasure to welcome Ava and Joppa from Activist Handbook, which is the new Wikipedia for activists, amazing platform. Um, Ava is the localization coordinator and Joppa is the project coordinator and they're both based in the Netherlands. Thank you so much, folk, for joining us today. It's really amazing. Yeah, it's a, it's a pleasure being here. Fantastic. Um, so yeah, uh, I, just, I, know, I know that it is written on your website, but I just wanted to ask, maybe ask Ava, first of all, um, how, how the core team of Activist Handbook first came together. How did you meet? And um, also, when did the platform first go live? Oh, I think um, that's actually, um, first of all, a question for Joppe, because um, he really, I think we, we started from a hackathon um, uh, yeah. at uh, the summer camp of FYG, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And um, I wasn't there at the hackathon. I got, um, so I, I wasn't there from the beginnings. Um, well, so for me, yeah. I can, like, for me, I think I got a message from Joppe because we already knew each other and yeah. uh, he explained the project um, that that they were starting and what I was interested in. And I think I joined then, like, some general meetings and I sort of rolled into the project. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. So I, I know Eva from uh, from the, the Young Brains in, uh, in the Netherlands. Mm. Um, and uh, that's also how I uh, joined the, uh, the hackathon organized by the Federation of Young European Greens. Yeah. Um, so this was in Serbia um, and it was a summer camp uh, where people from all around Europe uh, joined to talk about activism and democracy and inclusion. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, so we, we had these two days where we could uh, fully focus on, on any project that we wanted to, to work on. Uh, and uh, yeah, we come, came up with, uh, with this idea of, of building a sort of Wikipedia for activists. And actually, immediately after these two days, we already had a website running. Oh. Uh, we had some, uh, some chapters. Uh, oh all that. So in a way, it's very similar to to what we have currently, um, mm. I mean, the website looks looks a lot better, and there's a lot of more, lot more content on it. Uh, you can imagine yeah. we couldn't quite quite fill it immediately, sure. but uh, yeah, that's that's how we got started. Fantastic. Okay. Um, yeah, because I, I was on my side. I've been searching for months for something like this. I, I had um, some Google alerts going for um, activists directory activist tools and i would get these google alert emails sort of telling me about new articles and things that had been published but there was nothing quite like activist handbook and that is definitely part of what i was looking for so when i first came across your via a google alert email first came across your platform i was like really excited um because it seems to me that we need activism now more than ever um I was wondering if um, maybe back to Ava, what, what um, are the most, or, or you can both answer, um, what do you think are the most activist, uh, the most significant activist causes that we should be fighting for globally right now? If that's not too big a question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, that's, that is a big question. But yeah. um, um, I, I'd say like, Oh, that's hard. And also, I think, uh, well, yeah, I think personally me? for me, for me, if I would mention one, it's um, uh, climate justice, basically, to, I mean, that's done still a very broad answer. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, sure. Yeah, that's my short answer, I guess. I yeah. don't know. If you... Yeah, I mean, I think for, for Activist Handbook, we thought about this as well, right? Because um, we wanted to build a platform for activists that are that are making this world a better place. But then they have to define who are these people, mm. who are we writing our platform for, uh, who are we building this for? And um, we, we came up with a set of principles 
um, saying that it has to be inclus uh, inclusive and um, um, we have to build our knowledge based on, on facts and, and scientific uh, truths. Yeah. Um, um, but of course, <laughs> there's, there's very much a debate about what is, what is true and what is not. Mm. But I think we can definitely say that there is a very uh, scientific basis saying that the human caused climate and ecological crisis is real, right? Yeah. Um, and that uh, has very real effects on human beings and especially for more vulnerable uh, minority groups. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I think uh, we, we are emancipatory in, a, in, in its essence, um, yeah. giving power to people who uh, are, uh, are oppressed or, or are part of minority groups. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. yeah. And, and to actually need, uh, add on to that, I think uh, you can't really fight for the one thing without um, fighting for the other thing, right? So indeed, um, uh, what is the word we just used? Like um, emancipation is, is uh, yeah, you, you, how do you say? Like, I don't think there's like one most important yeah. Um, type of activism. Yeah, uh, I think they all intersect and. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. A actually, I hadn't written this question down, but it's just occurred to me if I can sort of explore this point a bit further. Um, so you brought up that it's hard to know what's true, um, especially with the modern sort of media landscape. I would say in the internet. Um, like I'm doing a course at the moment. It's Michael Mann's online climate uh, course with edX climate science course. And his science is really brilliant. Like the, the climate science is really, really good. But some of the sources within that are IPCC reports. And in the IPCC reports, there's a lot of language which is biased towards capitalism and inherently supportive of capitalism and sustainable development, that term is used uncritically. So I was just sort of wondering if, uh, at least in the core team of Activist Handbook or more widely in your volunteer network, do you strongly consider anti-capitalist perspectives, um, considering that the climate crisis is arguably sort of made worse, you could say, by capitalism? And you could also say that capitalism is anti-democratic if you're if you're sort of looking at supporting minorities and being emancipatory, is there much of an anti-capitalist focus? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I always find this difficult because uh, people understand this terminology different. Uh, some people think that uh, uh, social politics, uh, left-wing politics is uh, oppressing people and having a, a uh, uh, all, all honored leader, right? Like, like you had uh, uh, in the Soviet Union. Oh yeah, yeah. Like but and, and and in the same way, people interpreted uh, capitalism in different ways. But I think that it is very clear that it is an economic system um, and a social system, <laughs> whatever we call this. I mean, we can call this capitalism that is at the basis of all these problems. Um, and that is what we need to fight. It's not that we can continue uh, buying all sorts of clothes that, that go to waste every year. And um, we, we can't continue our current way of living, but save the climate. Like that, that's inherently impossible. 